Hey, welcome to this radio video, and this is a uh, second day of observation from uh, my new um, antenna, my 102 inch whip. That is typically a CB antenna that I've showed you uh, on a video. And uh, after two days now, or like a day and a half, but today I had several occasions to tune in from very high frequencies in the 10 meter handband uh, and uh, all the way down to uh, 160 meters even on uh, long wave if you go on the long wave band here my noise floor is very very low probably because the antenna is not the best for that frequency but if I compare it this beacon was in the noise on my long wire it's actually coming in quite well on my whip antenna, my 102 inch. So uh, definitely, I am amazed at this antenna for its low noise. For its low noise and um, great reception. Uh, if I go in the medium wave bands and tune in, I've got excellent reception of, you know, this is Boston, New York here, even gets better. Really, really am amazed at this antenna. I've uh, been listening to some uh, hands on 160 meters. And uh, actually been hearing them better than I used to hear them before. I could hear a lot of them, but they were mostly in the noise here. Many of them are strong enough that I can receive them clearly. So it's uh, quite amazing. Um, pretty much everywhere I listen to, it's a great antenna. And uh, even if it's not the best, because, you know, obviously, there could be better antennas for reception, especially at the low bands here. Uh, it's actually better at receiving anyways. Very little noise, very satisfied. And even if in the uh, 27 megahertz or 28 megahertz very high band, I have a lot of noise. Uh, it seems that the signals are just so much stronger that it's actually okay even if it has noise. Uh, so um, maybe if I could put uh, my antenna like a five, five or ten feet higher, it's going to be a little more uh, distance from um, the home for the house here and uh, the antenna it uh, might actually lower the noise floor also because it's going to make it uh, a little farther away from the house. Um, overall, uh, if you aren't sure what antenna to buy or you don't have a lot of money to invest and have a spot for a whip antenna, this is uh, Egypt. If you have a spot for a such a whip antenna, it takes very, very, very little space. All you need is somewhere you can actually hook it up outside and let it, um, you know, go as high as possible. Um, you can put it in the right next to a wall. Uh, here I have uh, the shed that I can that I'm using actually that helps me with that. Um, it almost invisible I mean from uh, if I go downstairs on the sidewalk um, you know if you don't really know there's an antenna you don't really see it much which is pretty nice also so it uh, doesn't really make your neighbors go crazy on antennas also um, so if you're looking for something cheap that is pretty amazing on short wave and I must be I, I must say I'm, I am amazed because I bought this antenna. I knew it was going to be maybe interesting in the high frequencies. I didn't think it would have been that good 
um, especially for the low noise that I have so um, hopefully this helps you if you are, guys are looking for antennas I've seen some on eBay uh, I've seen some on uh, I think it's Radio, Radio World in the Toronto that's uh, selling one for uh, $28.95 uh, of course if you can get the antenna from a local source is best because since it's a very long whip it costs uh, a lot in shipping because of the length uh, so try to find it at the local uh, electronics uh, outlet if possible so it's uh, simply ask for a uh, 102 inch CB antenna and uh, you'll get a whip and a little connector at the bottom and just uh, plug your radio with that great great antenna and it's actually uh, my main antenna now I'm not going to return to my long wire for now I will keep my long wire uh, available so what I did is I uh, tied my long wire to the balcony so that I don't lose the wire that's in the tree and uh, if I ever want to go back all I have to do is just disconnect the uh, 102 uh, one little idea that I have is since my ICOM has two connectors for the antenna in the back I was thinking of buying a small um, shielded cable and uh, plugging my long wire on the other HF uh, connector so that I can actually just click here and switch between antennas which would be uh, maybe interesting because uh, on some frequencies there might be some interesting uh, reception that is better on my long wire but up to date and up to now um, I think my uh, 102 inch whip is the winner and it's going to stay like that uh, the next step for the um, antenna that I will install is a, um, I'm going to try to do a magnetic loop there's a uh, schematic there's actually a little um, an AMRADIO operator that put online a uh, shortwave magnetic loop antenna and I want to try that because I want to see how well it's going to receive shortwave and uh, also how well it can actually remove the interference so I could uh, maybe have um, next to the shed there my 102 inch a magnetic loop and also a um, my scanner antenna my VHF UHF antenna so uh, that's pretty much my little discussion on antennas right now um, I'm really happy because I was going crazy with the noise floor and uh, I actually have, lot, have lots of improvement now so it's uh, giving me a little more energy to uh, tune in to the shortwave bands uh, especially on the low frequencies that are usually much much noisier so uh, I'm gonna keep you up to date with other antennas that I'm gonna try and of course as uh, we're going into spring and eventually summer look for many many antenna tryouts this summer I'm gonna try all sorts of things and we're even going to talk about um, what I call stealth antennas. If you live in a condo, if you live in a place where antennas are not permitted at all, um, well, there are ways to disguise your antennas. So we're going to look at ways you can make shortwave antennas invisible but still effective. And that's going to come uh, in the coming months and uh, this summer probably so stay tuned if you're uh, wondering what you can do to have an outdoor antenna I uh, will show you all the possibilities uh, from the uh, urban house to the uh, city dweller in an apartment or condo uh, there's always something we can do so thanks for watching and 73